Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann here from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality, wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. Thank you for uh, your support of this channel, uh, your likes, your comments. If you're not subscribed yet, uh, please do hit the subscription button. Uh, and that will alert you as to when I've recorded and uploaded a video. Okay, so let's get started. I want to go uh, first of all uh, to my read, my last reading that I did, and I did some astrology, and I looked at Mars and Pluto being exact. Uh, uh, at zero degrees conjunct uh, at zero degrees uh, in Aquarius. And I said that there would be some potential around this date, around the 14th of February, depending on where you are in the world. And its effect, of course, lasts for a few days after that, uh, that we would see or could see, given that astrology is um, not absolutely predictive, it gives you an overall picture. I like to refer to it as put giving us uh, pieces of the jigsaw or puzzle to see the whole picture. Uh, and so um, I did that reading and I said that there could there could be the potential for things to be explosive given that Pluto is the is the uh, planet of power and can often reveal corruption as well. Uh, and Mars, of course, is very can be very warlike, very aggressive. Um, it's very direct. Uh, okay, so they're exact at the at zero degrees or on the fourteenth, which me meant that the the it, they were at their most potent. So this blending of energies was at its most potent. Well, uh, we did see um, the uh, on the thirteenth. Um, I think it was the thirteenth of February, uh, Secretary Mayakis in the US um, was impeached. They, the House of Congress voted to impeach him. It still has to go to the Senate. The Democrats hold the Senate and, it, and it, 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 it's obviously a no-brainer that he would uh, be convicted in the Senate. However, what this sets up is, a, is the uh, narrative around the border in an election year. We also saw a supersonic Russia uh, launch a supersonic missile into Kiev, um, and that is the that is that hasn't happened uh, uh, in su you know for quite some time. So a ramping up there of aggression. The Ukrainians claim they also sunk uh, one of um, an aircraft carrier of Russia's as well. So we've got still got that war in Ukraine. We had the former. Uh, ex-president of the United States encouraged Russia to attack any country that uh, wasn't uh, in NATO, which is the security alliance uh, for Europe uh, and the US. Uh, anyone who wasn't paying their bills that uh, encouraging Russia to attack them, for goodness sake, they don't get billed. They pay a certain percentage of GDP. Uh, and the reason that the US is in NATO, of course, is uh, is because it is allied with those nations. So what happens is if there's an attack on one, the other comes to help. If there's an attack on the other, as there was in 9-11, then others come to help. So it's a, a two-way thing. Okay, so we had that shock and horror that the ex-president would dare say that... Um, uh, encourage Russia to attack when it, when they've already attacked a um, a sovereign nation in Ukraine. We've got the build up of uh, Russian troops on the uh, the border of the Baltic states. Um, they put the Estonian uh, prime minister on their wanted list. Um, so we see this build up of Russian troops at the border. We uh, had the strongest exchange of fire yet between Israel and the Lebanese border. That is very much a, uh, as I said, an explosive situation there. We had uh, tragically a shooting at the Chiefs Super Bowl parade in Kansas, unfortunately. Ten people were shot. I think one is dead, nine are wounded thus far. Um, we also had the attack in Rafa, uh, the city of Rafa in Gaza, and 65 civilians were added to the list of, um, I don't even know what it's up to now, it was up to 26,000 civilians killed. Um, 
uh, by Netanyahu's war machine. The hostages still haven't been released. Netanyahu recent, most recently turned down a deal uh, to release those hostages and have a ceasefire. So Rafa, if you don't know, is where the uh, majority of Palestinians are sheltering in refugee camps. Um, so any attack in Rafa is likely to, uh, to um, incur civilian death. Perhaps the biggest one, I guess, because I'm looking for... I was looking for something that is quite shocking. All those events are shocking. Um, uh, however, the one uh, that I think has uh, a lot of people worried is the um, co-chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee, uh, Representative Turner, has come out and warned warned people, um, in a way, warning, uh, wanting intelligence classified intelligence um, declassified so it can be shared and everybody knows about it all all the congress all those at congress know about it on a national security threat uh to the u.s and of course if if it's to the u.s then and u.s allies are, will be involved as well um and of course in australia we, we are one of the allies and of course nato as well um a national security threat to the US, um, he's warned of that and wants uh, declassification there so that uh, this information can be shared more broadly in the Congress and they can start to make uh, policy. And, well, would the House pass some legislation? I don't know. They have a security bill before them. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, back to this secu national security threat, which I think is quite, um, is very much around what I was expecting on February the 14th. Uh, it's widely believed to be a Russian space threat, some kind of weapon weaponry they have in, in the space, in space. Um, that's what the pundits are saying this could be. I do want to get to the security bill. Um, it passed the Senate. Please don't confuse that with passing of the bill when i read on it i saw the tower the tower uh, as the outcome and in all good conscience i couldn't say that it would pass both houses of congress that it had the tower there so it was unlikely to pass although i did see ukraine getting some some funding at the end of the day now what has happened with that bill of course and it is indeed a tower moment given the threats to national security uh that Bill has been the leader of the House, Speaker of the House, has uh, said that he won't bring that to the floor for a vote. Why won't he bring it to the floor to, to the for a vote? Because it's likely to pass. So he's holding back that, will not allow the vote, despite being pressured uh, by his own party to bring it to the floor, he won't. Um, now, that tells you a lot. Uh, it tells you a lot. In other um, news, of course, we had the Democrats win a, a seat in New York, retake a seat in New York, um, and that was the seat vacated by George Santos. So really good wins uh, for the Democrats. Okay, we all know who and what George Santos was. Okay, let's uh, start with this national security threat. I'm using the Rider Waite Tarot, and I also have out the Legacy Tarot by Cairo Marchetti. Okay, so let's start with the Rider Waite. Let's start with the security threat. Let's see what I can see. Okay, I'm clearing my mind. Okay, so I'm seeing immediately, it didn't take long, uh, an emperor sitting on his throne. I'm assuming that would be... Actually, it's a, it's kind of has a religious overtone. It's like the Russian Orthodox uh, Church. Um, and, of course, we know that Putin is almost... His Rasputin is the head of the Russian Orthodox Church in Russia. So I'm seeing some 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 kind of religious symbology here. Okay, I'm not sure why. Um, okay, this threat. What is this? Is okay. What is this? Well, that's okay. 
it is something that will get through defense systems because what I'm seeing is it's like a, a V shape, something like a V V shaped, and it's just peeling back, uh, peeling back. It's like able to pe oh, I don't know what it is penetrate glass. What can it's it's peeling back defensive um, defensive systems. Um, what is this? It could be some kind of, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say it could be some kind of stealth machine, a stealth, stealth aircraft, which is, uh, I don't know, able to fly through and uh, defensive systems. Okay. Now, I do want to say that the they've known about this threat for weeks now so it's not an imminent threat it's something that so if you're panicking about that it is something that they've known about for weeks uh and of course i just want to remind you that um, america does have the most powerful military in the world i've got the star card something in the stars um also hope okay so all right let's see what is this okay first of all is this national security threat is this about russia is this about russia i'm only looking for a couple of cards is this about russia is this security threat about russia so we have the knight of cups here um that is very quick moving knight it's an offer of something and we have the lovers card Ooh. So it's sort of like the ex-president's energy and something coming to fruition in time. I don't want to tie it back to the uh, ex-president, but these are his cards and the truth coming out. Uh, I wonder, I wonder here, just take a look at these cards. These two cards I always associate with Trump and his 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 cult, because he's a cult leader. That is the fact of the matter. Um, and then we have something coming fruition in time and then clarity and the truth emerging. Uh, and we have the nine of pentacles again, money, um, and then anxiety, anxiety and being stuck in the past, something to do with the past because I'm getting the ex president and this is not gratuitous. Uh, I want to say, um, I didn't ask about him. But this has something to do with some information that has been shared. Now, we, we know for a fact that he shared uh, defense Israel defensive Iron Dome defensive system with Russia. Oh, I don't know if it was the Iron Dome, but he in the, in the beginning of his presidency, he shared uh, security, national security, Israel's national security information with intelligence with Russia. This has something to do with at the genesis of this has something to do with shared intel intel okay what's at the base of the pack and we have here the page of wands and deceit lies and deceit and my card for national security so i you know it's a possibility that this could could be have something to do with intel that has has been compromised and also something to do with stealth something to do with stealth um i don't know if it's space but it's some kind of aircraft that perhaps can evade i don't know evade security systems so the images that i get clairvoyantly are um, very much up for me up to me to get the right interpretation and I'm human and I'm being given images from uh, spirit that I have to interpret and so and then you add the layer of politics over it <laughs> and uh, yeah okay so that's what I see there let's see um, I think it is from Russia let's see if we can get clearer what is this what is this threat please what is this national security threat from russia okay so we get uh again what looks like to be um compromised intelligent intelligence there and i know what you're all saying but just bear with me 
deceit and then we get uh, the page of wands moving forward with a project or plan it's only in its infancy so I do want to say again that this is a warning from the um, Republican uh, in intelligence committee chair co-chair it's only a warning it's not it's not an actuality uh, it doesn't seem like the, it's a mature it's ma a mature threat yet it does have something to do with national security that's my card for national security um, and then we get the two of cups in the past so again I'm seeing something being shared uh, we get the Queen of Swords in the sky, so logic, planning, that's, um, that can be uh, objectivity, planning uh, for the threat. Um, have Has technology, military technology been shared in some way? I don't know. Oh my goodness. So we get the High Priestess, things coming to, secrets being kept um, and then things emerging. Uh, secrets emerging into into the light of day so there is a clandestine secrecy a lot of secrecy around this or has been it has something to do with the past okay it has something to do with the past uh, we have um, fear uh, and restriction fear and restriction and then we get hopes and fears uh, the ace of wands project plan moving forward some kind of new new newness new start and then we get the page of cups again um and then the ten of cups families uh and then the hierophant okay what is this threat what is this threat moving out of troubled water so i think i think it's i think the congress the government is on top of this we get victory and we get the magician can often be manipulation. The two of two of pentacles, um, juggling, weighing things up, making decisions, defense decisions, defense decisions, and we get the we get um, President Biden and some kind of rapid moving forward, moderation and the star card. I actually do feel. So what is this threat? It's a threat to, it's a threat, it's a threat that hasn't matured yet. It could be based on um, sharing of uh, plans, intel in some way that's been identified that gives, that is given, it is to do with Russia, given Russia the, the ability to build something that perhaps has some kind of, um, some military type of, um, plane or something that flies um it's not a mature threat though it's not something that we have to drop everything and suddenly it's something that will come will come to um fruition in time it's something that if nothing's done now then in future in the future the threat increases 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 from this, I see the government has a handle on it, and I do want to point you to those cards showing that I think actually Congress will come together on this one to take some sort of action to prevent the threat maturing. So I just want to say that. Okay. All right. Let's um, let's go to um, let's go to Biden's health now I also want to remind you that the new york uh, judge who is hearing the civil case on uh, the ex-president and his two sons um, fraud and tax evasion he's due to hand down his finding this week and so uh, i have predicted that that's going to be pretty severe uh, for the ex-president if you want to see that reading go it's my last reading so go back and have a look at that Okay, so a lot happening this week. Uh, we also have the Supreme Court yet to rule on the 14th Amendment, whether or not the ex-president is qualified. But first, I want to go to another matter that's been on my mind. I always cop flack when I read on it 
but I uh, have picked up a, a health issue uh, a couple of months ago. I think it was before Christmas that President uh, Biden may have um, a health, uh, some kind of health issue to deal with, that he would take the time to do that and we'll be okay. So let's just check in on President Biden's health. President Biden, President Biden's health. Um, okay. And it, look, I'm just, uh, what determines what I read on is what my gut tells me. As a, as a clairvoyant, it's what my gut tells me. Okay, so I don't sugarcoat it. I don't hold back information. Let's have a look. Uh, and I can tell you right now that uh, this president is far, far more capable and astute and experienced than the um, celebrity apprentice show. Uh, I don't know what he was. The reality TV star come, president come, real estate can be business fraud star. <laughs> His uh, company, of which he head, heads, headed, heads, was found guilty of fraud. So I can say that. Okay, so uh, Biden's health, Biden's health, show me Biden's health. President Biden's health. Taxing. I'm getting taxing. This has been a taxing time for him. In a way, he feels isolated. He feels the waves are crashing down um, on the shore. So it's an emotionally turmoil uh, time for him. However, I see him as the lighthouse. So the lighthouse, what does the lighthouse do? It guides ships in in storms. So he is well experienced and well prepared for this. Okay, um, I'm just hearing that the, the what the special counsel did, the political moves of the special counsel in relation to his classified documents case really actually did wound him. Uh, wound him personally uh, because he really didn't see it coming. Uh, this is a uh, special prosecutor that no other attorney general would have allowed him to, to question the president's senility. Uh, I don't know why the attorney general, Mary Garland, let that go through. This is a special counsel that has been uh, allied uh, with um, the likes of Bannon and um, very much allied with the GOP. Uh, and I think he worked on Trump's second impeachment in the Senate. Uh, so you can see that this, I don't know, in, in Garland, Attorney General Garland in bending over to prevent any claims of partisanship seems to have actually opened the door to um, exactly that. Uh, okay, so uh, let's just go back to... He was really wounded by that. All right, President Biden's health. Show me President Biden's health, please. hope I've got some good things to report. Um, okay, so we get, uh, again, the lighthouse um, analogy here, having to make very, very difficult uh, decisions, juggling too much, uh, the tsunami sort of coming at him. And then we get uh, a bit of disappointment. <laughs> I mean, I can't make these cards up. But we have here the Ace of Cups, something being offered to him. He has one cup remaining. Uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles at the foundation of the reading. And this, of course, is New Starts. He's doing very well. What buoys him is the political fight. He's doing very well in the fundraising. He's streets ahead of his opposition. So... There's, while there's been disappointment, there's been much uh, to celebrate as well. And uh, the Democrats, of course, winning in New York is one of them. Uh, now, we have the Ace of Cups in the past. This is him. He's a Scorpio, emotional. He's emotional. He hides it. Scorpios do, but uh, nevertheless. So we have here the Queen of Pentacles, and that is national security. Interesting that these are are both carrying a pentacle card here, national security, domestic security. The Knight of Pentacles, consistency, I like that. I'm not seeing overtly bad health uh, cards here yet. 
the judgment card in the in the present situation there's an inevitability what is there an inevitability about okay the turmoil this is where i see him um this is the environment around him the moon card uh chaos tur turmoil uh things coming from uh up from underneath the surface things coming at him um and it is an inevitability of this time hopes and fears this is in relation to his health we have crossroads uh in the hope and fear position uh he knows it's a crossroads he's hoping for the uh the 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 new dawn of of um of coming through the battle um and we get defending himself so i see these as good cards justice card here and the ten of cups yeah his kiss whatever health issue he's having he's uh he's going he's going to be okay he's going to successfully defend it we have endings and beginnings we have new starts and there we have the health health uh card there the the nurturing of oneself and the um the wounded warrior the battle weary warrior so yeah this is very taxing time however uh this is a karmic card and it's riding the rough sea uh withstanding the storm to still be standing uh at the end of this seeing through seeing it through to the election beyond the election uh it's a new day it's a new um a brand new era in a way um so something around anchoring anchoring in the storm um he is able to weather that storm okay so that's good that set my mind at ease i want to move to a uh, funny funny willis um I read on her yesterday in another forum and I remember when I first read on her uh, and her the mud that was being thrown at her in Georgia around the case and her chief prosecutor her relationship with her chief prosecutor the cards were pretty pretty terrible then and if enough mud is flung there's all sorts all sorts of investigations now uh into her ongoing into her in in the Georgia parliament or the Georgia Georgia congress um she faces the actual judge uh now it would be tomorrow i think thursday this week thursday to see whether she can stay on the case when i read yesterday i felt I felt it's a mixed outcome. I felt she's likely to stay, but I don't know that the prosecutor Wade, who's uh the person she's having a relationship with, none of please don't come for me. It's none of anybody's business that she's having that relationship there in turn, well, not none of anyone's business. It's her private life which has no bearing on the case. Okay? So I want to state that up front because people shout at me in all capital letters <laughs> she's a right to have that relationship this has nothing to do yes of course all of that all of the above but this is about mud being flung at her um by uh by an ex president's um oh i don't know who's also been charged <laughs> in this case all right so i just want to see clearly here because it's uh it's pretty murky let's just put it that way i think that the prosecutor has to go not her but her uh wade ha will probably be let go okay so fonny uh do you keep are you allowed to stay fonny are you allowed to stay on the case fonny willis will you stay on the case after the this hearing will the judge um exonerate you in a way well not exonerate let's just see will will funny will us stay on the case will funny will us stay on the case i'm seeing a young girl does she have children does anyone someone have children here there's a young girl here a little girl um okay so will funny will us stay on the case will funny will us stay on the case show me clearly please justice okay then we get justice uh in as the signifier card and the end or the death card okay so there's a pretty 
justice will be done, but the death card there is, um, yeah, it's a bit, bit worrying. The Page of Swords, the truth, again, um, can be the spy in the camp. Um, judgment in the past, an inevitability that this, of course, would, would occur in some way. Um, the Queen of Swords in the in the sky, which is a good card, potentially, yes. We do get the Wounded Warrior, you know, slinging of mud. She has been in a battle. This is a Rico case against the ex-president. We have uh, home and family in the present. And then we have the environment around loss, um, loss and walking away. You see how tough these cards are um, for me to... <laughs> to uh, deal um, the ten of wands in the hopes and fears this is a lot coming at her now she's got the nine and the ten uh, this is by no means um, an easy time for her we get the hermit card uh, review reflection but it's also isolation we get the eight of wands um, perhaps things coming at her very very quickly and then we get the ace of swords so which is the truth emerging. So, yes, she will be allowed to stay, but I still go with my first intuition that I don't think that her prosecutor will be able to to stay. It's There's just been too much mud flung at them. We get uh, loss, so we get the two kind of death card, major and minor death cards, so it's not going to come. It's not going to be... Um, business as usual for her i think there's a some kind of change giving and receiving help around the money so there's accusations that she benefit yada yada a lot of mud we get new starts at the full car but then we get uh retreat and wounded in battle and it is around the money uh something to do with you know apparently she pays his wage and then they took trips together yada 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 so I think she'll be okay, but there's a lot of uh, mud coming at her. Um, all right, so uh, let's go to the Middle East now. Well, firstly, quickly, no, um, <laughs> too much to read on. Let's change decks and we'll go to the Middle East. I just want, there are, of course, Netanyahu, Netanyahu rejected a hostage deal one that was um, crafted by the US, Qatar, Egypt, Jordan, um, uh, burning the midnight oil to craft this uh, ceasefire and hostage release deal and, and Netanyahu said no. Um, now the offensive is in Rafa, the city of Rafa in Gaza, which of course houses the refugees, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of them. I saw a uh, quote from Cindy McCain saying children are starving and they're actually dying from starvation in Gaza now. So just let me say that again, children are dying from innocent children, nothing to do with October the 7th, nothing to do with anything, Hamas, anything, are starving at this time. Children are starving to death. Not only are they being bombed, mutilated and killed, they're starving to death. So we're looking at tens of thousands, 26, 27,000, might, it, might even be 30,000 now. Innocent, innocent civilians killed. Um, and the Hamas attack on October the 7th, the hostages still being held. Some have been released. Okay. You'd think that the Western world, not the Western, the world, the whole world could come together and solve this and say no more innocent people, no more innocent people die, including Israel, Israelis on the border of Lebanon, Lebanese on the border of Israel. You'd think we'd be able to solve this. Instead, we watch, we hear Every day, it's been going on since October the 7th, and we watch and we hear that children are still being killed, innocent civilians are being killed, 
children are now starving to death in Gaza. And I want to say this is Netanyahu, who himself is up on corruption charges. Hundreds of thousands of Israelis protesting want him removed. They just want their people brought home. Okay, the Jewish Council of Australia condemn Netanyahu's actions in Gaza. Good people are condemning. But no governments seem to be able to step in and take and, and sort this out and bring peace to the world, just as they aren't able to do that in Ukraine either. All right, so uh, it's a heavy indictment on all of us. Um, let's let's have a look here. And if it's allowed to to unfold like this without any checks or balances, this will be the new way. Putin's Aleppo strategy, bomb, kill, maim the, the community, destroy them, bring them to their knees. Okay. All right, so let's have a look at the Middle East. Let's have a look at, will there be any action, given the International Court in The Hague um, has already found there's a plausibility that genocide will unfold, that genocide is unfolding, it's plausible that genocide is unfolding. Uh, is there any way to bring these hostages home, to stop the bombing <laughs> the killing of innocent civilians, wherever they are, whichever border they're on, is will there be international action to stop the bloodshed in, in the Middle East, to stop the bloodshed in Gaza and bring the hostages home? Will there be international action to stop the bloodshed in Gaza, the starvation of Gazans, and bring the hostages home, which is what all decent people should want. The Seven of Swords, look at that, lies, deceit, the thief in the night. There's, uh, you know, something pretty terrible about a thief coming in the night, in the darkness of night. We get the Nine of Wands, oh, gosh, two signifier cards. Um, for those that don't understand the way that tarot works, they're pretty terrible cards. Wounded Warrior. Boundaries needed against deceit, theft, deceit, bloodshed, stealing into into someone's home in the night, the Hamas attack on October the seventh, the um, the brutality on the West Bank before that, the what we've seen unfolding in Gaza. We get to hear the Nine of Cups, wish fulfilment. Thank God I saw that card. In my timelines, I've seen that this uh, March is a tip is a changing February March is a changing tipping point. We get the nine of coins in the past again. Why am I not surprised? Money, land, money, land, wealth, money, land. What's mine is <laughs> what's yours is mine. <laughs> um, the two of wands, something coming to fruition in time. We do have to be patient. Looks like the key is here. Um, Two weeks, two months, more likely two months. Gosh, March, more likely March. We get temperance and moderation in the immediate future. I do like this card, the angel there. The angel, the temperance angel is here in the immediate future. So it looks like there will be an end to this. We get the queen of coins um, that's in the here and now. This is sort of security having everything that I need, um, and then we get the five of wands, fighting over land, fighting over resources, fighting over what's mine, what's yours is mine. Uh, that is the, the situation at the moment. Um, this is as much a land fight as anything else. I just want to say that again. This is as much a land fight as it is anything else. The Four of Cups in the Hopes and Fears. Three cups have been lost, however. There is one cup left, and that is that is a lovely cup because I saw that at the beginning of the reading there, a, a, a cup like that with a glass cup. Um, okay. 
And then we get the King of Wands as the outcome. I do like this outcome card. This is about somebody, something stepping up bravely to stop this. And the King of Cups, yeah, it's an American intervention. I do... I don't know that they'll ever get uh, money um, freed up for Ukraine, Israel and Gaza, but I see uh, President Biden uh, Biden's intervention here in some way. Page of Wands, something around the children, um, getting aid in there. Uh, there's some kind of interve intervention that he's asking Congress for, uh, and then we get the chariot, and it, and it, and he's successful in it, and it comes very quickly. I'm wondering if the if the in light of what Rep Turner or no Senator Turner has said about national security threat, whether or not they're able to get some money passed for Ukraine, and of course money for uh, for aid to the Palestinians. And uh, any money to Israel, of course, would have to have conditions on it. Page of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of any future money given to Israel will have will have caveats around it. Um, Four of Wands, Home, Family, Reunion and Tower. Unfortunately, I think that in order for the US to step forward, things are going to have to, it's going to be, I can't imagine how much worse it can be, but it can be. It can be. But I feel that there will be steps taken to bring this to a close. And I feel that somehow the US is instrumental in this. Right, a long reading today. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll leave that there and bye for now.